Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Today we're back looking at One Point Perspective. One Point Perspective is an illusion artists use to create the feeling of space in a picture or the look of space. Can you see the vanishing point in this painting by Vincent van Gogh? Today we're going to continue our exercise of using perspective and creating the illusion of three-dimensional words. So last time we talked about connecting the corner of every letter to the vanishing point. I'm holding my ruler firmly and it is not moving because when you use a ruler for this, your lines are crisp and sharp. If you're having trouble holding your ruler firmly, ask for help. Once you're finished with all of the lines connecting to the vanishing point, choose a color harmony like primary colors, secondary colors, cool colors, or warm colors to color your word with. And this will give your picture a united feeling. It will look like it has unity because all of the colors harmonize together. So I'm gonna outline with marker. Maybe you wanna do a pattern with the colors you choose. I'm choosing warm colors. So I'm just creating a pattern here. And if you get a marker that is out of ink, please put it in a recycled container. I also have this coffee can that I'm gonna send these markers back to Crayola to be recycled into new markers. So if the tip of the marker is dirty, you can just grab a paper towel and clean it like that. And just go ahead and outline your letters with a marker. Make sure that the cap is snapped back on so it doesn't dry out. And then you can use colored pencils for the next part. So I'm just slowly coloring in tiny circles and I'm taking my time, but as always, I fast forwarded the video. We're gonna focus on value, the range of light to dark, and value is gonna add to the illusion of space. Value is what artists use to create the illusion of a form. So I'm gonna start with my darkest value here. Value also helps with the illusion of space. So I'm pressing very firmly with my colored pencil and as I get into a more medium section, a medium value, I'm gonna release the pressure so I can get a medium value. And as I get towards the bottom, I'm looking to do a light value. So this is gonna have a range of dark, medium, and light values. And that helps with the illusion. It helps to add a value scale and you can just flip your paper over and create a value scale so that you can know what a dark value looks like in comparison to a medium value and a light value. And you can also figure out what pressure you need to use when you're coloring if you create a small value scale like this. It's just a rectangle with four boxes and you can practice dark medium and light values. You might have to go in and add a little bit more color. I decided to change it up with my pattern. So this is what it ended up looking like and you can see the range in values of dark, medium, and light. You don't have to match the color if you don't want to. And I wanna show you one more thing in case you finish before other people or you wanna add a little bit of 
pizzazz to your word picture, you can create shapes down here below and you're going to connect all of the edges of those shapes to the vanishing point. There's only one vanishing point in this picture. It's called one point perspective, so there's only one vanishing point. So just be sure that every line you create goes to that one vanishing point. It's really important that you hold your ruler firmly. And again, if you're having trouble making those lines, ask for help. I hope you enjoy creating the illusion of space with one point perspective.